What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at one of the newest decks. That's right, by Paul Robaya. That's right, the same designer behind the casual playing cards as well as the Flora V1s red. Well, there's only one deck and that's going to be the new Black Flora V2s. That's right, so buckle in your seatbelts because we're going there. Let's go. The Black V2 Flora playing cards by Paul Robaya are coming off of the recent success of the V1 Floras in red, as well as the casual playing cards as well. The tuck box is printed by Clove Street Press, the same people that you've seen that did a lot of boxes for Art of Play and many, many others. The all black background, if you look very closely, you'll see a lot of different printing of different languages. This is the word flora printed in 25 different languages. Also there in the middle in white, it's gonna say flora in English. And that's it for the front. The left side of the tuck box has some ad copy it looks like and also a different language. The bottom of the tuck says designed by Paul Robaya, San Diego, California, 92104. The back of the tuck box is the exact same, except in the back in the middle, you're gonna see a flower in white. The top of the tuck flap is that continued print that we see on the back, and also the beautiful colorful tuck box or tuck seal that we will also see carry on along the back of the cards. The back design of the cards is this really nice floral kind of looking Hawaiian lay type of design. Paul likes to do a lot of different colorful designs if you're familiar with his work and this also follows kind of in suit with the V1s if you're familiar with that. This deck is so great and colorful and brings a lot to the eye. All right, this deck was printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their crushed premium stock. That's right, it does have a traditional cut as well as an air cushion emboss, and it is a two-way back design. All right, so a couple few and extra cards you're gonna see, and also, if you're familiar with Paul's work, you know in this series, he usually adds an ad card or whatever to kind of give you a hint of what the next deck in the series or that he's going to be putting out is. And it looks like this one's no different. That's right, this one is kind of a double backer in some ways. One has the back design of this deck and the other part of the back design on the other side is this kind of design you see here. It has kind of like a almost peachy kind of background with that green or almost like a charcoal colored uh, weird webbing of sorts on the back maybe a hint of what's to come next the next card you're going to receive is a ad card that's right if you're looking in the market for this deck you're gonna find it over at paperclubs.com and the last two cards you're going to receive are your duplicate and original jokers that's right, it's gonna have what looks to be kind of like a pineapple spilling and oozing out. It's gonna say flora underneath that and it's gonna kind of have a lot of line work, yellows, oranges, and peaches as well. The pips and indices in this deck are pretty much standard and you'll see the same pretty much as we get onto the courts, making this deck pretty cool for gameplay magic and cardistry. The court cards are pretty much standard as well, but upon closer kind of inspection, you're going to see a bit of a nuance or kind of a little bit of a greenish hue upon looking, and it's going to give it a little bit of a faded look at the outline. The aces in this deck are also standard to the industry. 
and the Ace of Spades is going to look pretty kind of uh, familiar if you have the V1s of the Flores, because the V1s came with a duplicate Ace of Spades. As you can see, the enlarged spade pip there has kind of that same look that we've seen on the Jokers. It's going to have kind of like a floral scene that almost matches the back design there on the left of the pip. And it's going to be very eye-popping, to say the least. All right, so what do I give this deck? I give it a 5 out of 5. No hesitating, no pausing, no nothing. This is a great deck. Uh, first off, I do want to thank one of my number one subscribers. That's right, Notification Squad on deck. That's right, Mr. Saint Illy Ill. That's right, I'll link all his social media below. Thank you, my friend, for allowing me to have this deck. You're the man, buddy. So let's uh, show some love to him in the comments for allowing me to have this so I can review it for everybody. Um, like I said, man, this deck just dropped on the 20th. Uh, you know, I had it before then. That's right. Uh, um, great deck of cards. Um, just a great deck. You know, it's it's so beautiful. That's the only way I can say it. Um, you know, everything's pretty standard-ish. You know, as you've seen, it's just great. You know, it it, it handles well compared to the V ones, which weren't crushed. Uh, this one is now crushed. Um, that's a plus for me, especially, you know, um, you know, in the flourish, you can do everything with this deck. This is a all around deck. And, you know, there's been some mix up lately. A lot of people wondered, well, not a lot of people, certain people, and I'm not going to address them, uh, because they don't deserve it. But, you know, I've undergone a lot of, uh, a lot of hate, uh, as of late because, uh, you know, somebody didn't like the review I gave their deck. I base deck reviews on a whole body of work i don't want to get into it i will get it wrong i will address a video to you to those people and those of you who may wonder how i base my reviews um but i base it around a whole body of work you know i don't just just because it's made for cardistry i don't judge it based on just cardistry okay um same with magic deck same with anything um but you know this is a five out of five hands down amazing i definitely recommend it i'll leave the links below so you guys can go ahead and check these out um just amazing really um yeah the v1s are sold out i do know that like i said these just dropped on the 20th and yeah so head over to paperclubs.com and get yours while they last all right so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as i enjoyed doing it for you and if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you beautiful people on the next one.